amazing noise around Croke Park. Huge support for Dublin, but massive support too for the men of Mayo. Donegal await the winners in the All-Ireland Senior Football Final in three weeks' time. Dublin won the toss and they have elected to defend till 16 in the first half. Joe McQuillan of Cavan is the referee, his sixth outing of Championship 2012. Mayo's only win over Dublin in the Championship came six years ago in the All-Ireland semi-final. So, here we go. I wonder where Jim McGuinness is sitting. He will be here with his backroom team to find out who they'll face in the All-Ireland final. And the game is on and straight into it is Aidan O'Shea, six foot four. His buddy at midfield, Barry Moran, is six foot five. Here on it for Dublin, Paul Flynn. Firing that in towards the full forward, Dear McConnelly. Connolly has Keith Higgins there with it. Higgins, a tigerish cornerback, he played in that 06 match. Michael Darrell McCauley has a little bit of space, picks it up for Dublin. Goes away from Jason Doherty. Now it's Brian Cullen. Cullen having to recycle it backwards. Paul Flynn. And Mayo with their defensive system in place early in the ball, kicked away by Flynn. And that a big boost already to the Mayo defence, but then an elementary mistake. Two hops and a free in and a certain point. Kevin Kane showing some early nerves, the Mayo corner back. Did he actually do it? And there's one. And there's two. And he knew you could see. Anyway. Kieran Kilkenny is a free taker, but Bernard Brogan has scored 317 in the championship. Most of them from open play actually. After that gift from Kevin Kane, Bernard Brogan scores the first point of the semi-final. And of course, if uh, he had pulled on the ball, if Kevin Kane had pulled on the ball on the second time, no problem whatsoever, but he took it back into possession. Double up, that's a real gift, and uh, the sort of start Bernard Brogan would be just loving to get his confidence levels up. Having frustrated Dublin with Flynn picking the ball away, and then that Indeed. elementary mistake. Anyway. Clark's kick out and it's belted forward by Eamon Fennett. Donald Vaughan going back to it and a mistake. They look a bit edgy, Mayo, at the moment. Paul Flynn. Flynn has Michael Darren McCauley inside. He's gone for McCauley and Vaughan went down on it. There were some appeals, I think, that it was touched on the ground, but the referee in the perfect position to see it. And Aidan O'Shea takes it clear for Mayo. Need to settle into this very early days and the bounce takes Rory O'Carroll out of the game. Now, Mayo attacking with End of Arley, replacing Andy Moran, and he's almost kicked that one out of the ground. There was pressure put on him as he made contact with the ball, but didn't really look happy at all, and he kicked it a mile wide. Well, I was sure he was going to fist it over. It was the easy option for Paul Flynn. He's trying to go for the early goal, good interception. But again, that nervousness in the Mayo defence earlier on. You saw Donald Vaughan kick the ball out of Keith Higgins' reach, and that's what led to the chance, early nerves. Alan Dillon will take ninth year on this team it came off the knees of Rory O'Carroll the Dublin fullback that fullback line edgy at times during the course of their stuttering year here's Kieran Kilkenny simple into Michael Darren McCauley he has Ger Brennan behind him ahead of him is Bernard Brogan quick hands from Dublin and there was a clear pullback by Donald Vaughan giving away a simple free and another opportunity for Bernard Brogan an injury off, off uh, camera as well to number nine, Aidan O'Shea, got a good belt, yeah. O'Shea had injury problems during the course of the year, missed a lot of the year with uh, a groin injury. And I wonder what exactly the issue is here. He's had a very good year, so has Barry Moran. But some worrying early signs for James Horan's team. Second year in charge of this Mayo side, two Connacht titles, second successive All Ireland semi final appearance. Bernard Brogan again. Two soft frees to give away. Punished by. 
Footballer of the Year from 2010. Kick out one by Dublin, well it was, and then gifted back, but Mayo, a mistake by Lee Keegan, they're edging, aren't they? It's sure, yeah, exactly, if you went down it, he had it, brings it over the line himself. Flynn launching that in and off, Bernard Brogan with great hands, gets away from Cafferty, lets it off to Cullen, now it's Dermot Connolly, Connolly on his weaker left side, it's high and it's wide. Well, that just gives you a sense of the little bit of snatchy play that's been in Bernard Brogan's uh, season. Th this is his score, watch when he sells the dummy here and comes back, there. But in fact, he, he passes it out to Brian Cullen, who is not as accurate as himself, he really should have taken it on himself. Just not fully confident of his own play, but getting there. Lee Keegan getting that short one from David Clark, the Mayo goalkeeper, Jer Cafferkey. Keith Higgins. Takes out Kevin McLaughlin, he covered nearly every blade of grass, but the foot pass wasn't precise, and Rory O'Carroll on the shoulder of Killian O'Connor. Mayo the line ball, though. beat Dublin by, what was it, 12 points in that rearranged National Football League game at the end of March. That's gone in long. Conroy unable to get to it. Keane O'Sullivan tidying up. It was Jason Doherty indeed. Dennis Bastic. Kevin Kane right there with Kieran Kilkenny and did well on him. Donald Vaughan will get forward at every opportunity. Here he is. Now Alan Dillon of Mayo can go left or right, had two options on either side. Now Killian O'Connor scored one point from open play in this year's championship, loads of frees. He goes back for Aidan O'Shea, who's recovered from his early knock. Keen O'Sullivan in front, Alan Dillon launching that in towards Michael Conroy. Conroy, it came up, Michael Fitzsimons out for a 45. Yeah, patchy attacking really from Mayo, not a lot of penetration. And not a lot of running off the ball. I'd have to say that the work of the full forward line is is really patchy in the early few e early minutes of the game. Dara, they're just not coming off their markers and making the pass, the in inside pass, easier. It's all very competitive when the ball comes in. Backs very tight. And here's Killian O'Connor. Whistling and all that sort of stuff, not welcome at all. It's a new dimension for Killian O'Connor to deal with. Dublin player is very close to that ball as well on the kick, more pressure. O'Connor has given that plenty. He gave it the full gun and it's over the bar. Their first score in the eighth minute. Beautiful strike, isn't it? Right to left, lovely curl over the bar. Michael Darrell McCauley, still waiting like so many of these Dublin players for their year to ignite. Three given to Dublin, and a harmless enough Chris Barrett was close to it. It's another Dublin line ball. Connolly and Higgins set up for a really good battle. Bernard Brogan out in front of his man, Jer Cafferty, didn't take on the shot. And Brogan, just that half a second of of doubt if that's what you could call it but it was two opportunities he's had and they haven't come off for him here come Mayo with Kevin McLaughlin Fitzsimons and Conroy there Conroy did really well he's got help inside end of Arley is there with him Fitzsimons back in position and they managed to put pressure on him and Cluxton can't prevent the 45 Killian O'Connor will have another chance Conroy seemed to have got away from Fitzsimons initially but Fitzsimons then had help blocking down the shot and conceding the 45. Yeah, and when he checked him, you know, he really he really should have recycled that ball. He took on a shot there that just, it was a really bad uh, shot selection. Should have recycled the ball back out. Lucky to get the 45 out of it. Cluxton nearly saved it, dashed off the line, but couldn't get there in time. Here's an identical opportunity for Killeen O'Connor. Yeah, pretty much the same position. Can he repeat the dose?
result, two points apiece. Well, that's really superb to do the exact same. A right to left kicker, very difficult free for him. Nailed it. Swinging Mayo's way a little. Here comes Donald Vaughan. Three points in last year's semi final. Bit of a gap opens up. McCarthy is behind him. Vaughan went with the fist and he's put it wide. Their second wide. That was a chance. Yeah, just poor execution. He hasn't got a strong left hand, obviously. And put it weakly wide. Was a chance. And the mid Mayo midfielder's out of position. Michael Darren McCauley came back for that. Lee Keegan getting to it. But here's Kieran Kilkenny. Precise pass to Dermot Connolly, who's got away from Higgins, and he's dropped one short. Second time they've done that, Connolly hasn't started well. The Mayo defence were edgy in the first few minutes, but the Dublin forwards haven't been shooting the lights out so far, but that's been the story for so much of the year. Here is Alan Dillon. And he's been caught by Brian Cullen, could be an issue, the referee has given the free, certainly. There isn't going to be, I don't think, any further action taken against the Dublin captain, Dylan Down injured. Well, that's just amazes me, and this is part of the part of the controversy in the build-up to the appointment of Joe McQuillan as the referee. I mean, this is a, an absolute trip. There you go. That's a yellow card, and he's let it run by. And uh, Dublin get a lot of a lot of decisions go their way. That's not a good one. Aidan O'Shea. Claimed again by Michael Conroy, who's having the better of Michael Fitzsimons, and Conroy slots that over. Dublin have an issue with cornerback, they have an issue with Michael Conroy. Really good point, and Mayo lead for the first time in this All-Ireland semi-final. Three in a row. Well, he's certainly getting out in front. This time he does make a good decision with the left foot. Great score. Dublin haven't scored since the fifth minute. They've had some opportunities. Michael Darren McCauley, three Mayo men around him. Brian Cullen. Now Dear McConley couldn't get to the fence of that, but he was given plenty of space. Aidan O'Shea. Lee Keegan. That's Barry Moran keeping it simple. Jason Doherty. Scored a goal against Down in the quarter-final. Got seven goals in the league last year. Killian O'Connor. Crunched. Possession given up to Dermot Connolly, almost playing as a centre half back. Kieran Kilkenny showing for that. He was given space, but Higgins, who had let Connolly go up the field as the free man back there, and winning easy possession for Mayo. Too much in the hand pass, though. Sloppy and careless for Mayo. Kieran Kilkenny again finds his man, who's Bernard Brogan, and Brogan beaten by Cafferkey. And here comes the Mayo fullback. Bernard Brogan is calling for it from Jer Brennan. Now Donald Vaughan marking him. Vaughan got a hand in there, and Brogan has it. Wouldn't be great options ahead of him. Brogan waiting for some support. Nobody showed for him. Paul Flynn has been held. His jersey was almost pulled off. And Flynn calls the crossbar. And Mayo get away with that. The crossbar denying Paul Flynn a goal. He was been fouled and he was trying to show the referee he was been fouled as the ball was been played in.